Hello and welcome back to Carp Interest. We're finally back out on the bank and we've got an interesting new venture to let you in on. We're collaborating with Gemini Carp Tackle this year and we're going to go through a number of in-session videos going over numerous methods and tactics. The first in-session video that we're going to bring to you starts today. We're here at Trent View Fisheries in Nottingham. Um, we're going to be doing singles versus solid bags, Pete versus Liam. One of us will fish the singles, one of us will fish the solid bags and we'll see which one wins on the day. We both like the solids and we both like the singles. Well, the only way to decide this is we're going to do a little competition now where we're going to cast the lead into a bucket. First person to get the bucket wins gets to choose which method they want. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Ah, you can go first. Not to worry about that. So if this goes in now, then that's it, game first, over? Yeah, pound shoot then. Straight away. Sudden so, death? Yeah, straight away. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, nothing to worry about at all. I've never been anywhere at these. Oh, oh, in. No, it's on the outside. Oh. You was close, Raoul. <laughs> you was close. He's sweating. He's sweating. He's never been any good at these, he says. We're definitely going to have to edit this. We're making ourselves look terrible. Got it. Oh! <laughs> Bosh! Oh, well, that's that done. Get in. Right, so now the swim choices have been confirmed. I've come into the left hand side, and after having a word with a bailiff, he's told us that there's a gravel bar out at about 18 racks. So I've been leading around now for about 15 or 20 minutes. I've managed to find it. Now I'm just going to check the depth because I know that it's, uh, it's quite deep out there. So swim side and tactics chosen. Let's get this competition started. Solids versus singles. See you on the other side. Let's go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> let's not. Stay still. Ah, oh, you. Yeah. First rod of the competition going out. Solid bag. Bit of a crosswind, so I hope I nail it first time. Right on the money. So I found a spot roughly about 18 wraps out, just as the bailiff recommended. I wouldn't use the fish in that kind of depth, but uh, as you say, it's been recommended, so I'm going to stick two out there on a spot. But I'm going to bring one a lot closer in, probably six or seven wraps, where it's a little bit shallower, at about 10 foot. Um, I've gone for the solid bags which looking now I regret my decision a little bit because the crosswind is savage and getting a solid bag out there first time isn't easy. Right, so Liam's put all his rods out now on his bags. All my singles are out. Uh, we're at different lengths, so which is good for both of us. I'm just going to top my spot up with uh, four or five spams. Get ready for the evening, and uh, that'll be me until tomorrow then. So that's the first day I come to a close, and although it's been a fairly unproductive day on the fish front, I think we've uh, it was expected. We've learned a, 
a fair bit about the swim now and there's the stuff that we can take into tomorrow and I'm sure it will be more productive as the session goes on. Yeah, so today was just basically getting set up and uh, find our feet in the swim. Well, we've got a few ideas we're going to go on with uh, tomorrow, but yeah. So tomorrow I'll be up early, early doors, sort some rods out, change a bit of tactics up and go through more in depth on the rigs. But for now, we're going to get a brew on and uh, have a little chill and then get back at it tomorrow. Morning, so as you can see, nothing happened last night, no action. Didn't see much around the lake. So as you can also tell, we're in a different swim. As Liam seen some fish this morning on early hours. Uh, noticed a few shoal this side, so we've headed around this morning. We've just finished setting up, just got a brew on. Yeah, like Pete said, I, I woke up at first light this morning to, to redo the rods because I wasn't I wasn't 100% happy with, with where there was with that crosswind. So the plan was to get up, bring them in a little bit closer, find a spot and, and try and counteract that crosswind. But as I did get up, I saw some fish showing behind us now. We've jumped into pegs 22 and 23. Um, so that was that was all it took really to, to wake Pete up and get the cars loaded and round here. And on this peg, we've got the wind blowing right at us. Uh, it's right in our face. So Liam's gone for a distance approach and I'm gonna drop in a little bit closer so then we can see where they're going to come from, if they're going to come, fingers crossed. Unfortunately, it is a cold wind, which ideally we want to be on the back of, but the bank to the back, which has been producing the fish over the last couple of weeks, the wood bank, the, it's, it's absolutely rammed. There's no chance that we're going to get on there during this session. So the idea is that we can plonk up here, we can get as close to the middle of the lake as we can, and then we're, as clo we're, we're closer to where the fish are coming out than we have been all session so far. So we're going to finish up these these drinks. I think Pete's going to get a bit of bait out over the area he's found. I'm going to redo my solid bags in a little bit because I'm not putting any bait around them. Um, and yeah, we're just going to see what the what the day brings, and we'll get back in touch with you soon. So we're at the blue. I Liam's only going to have this off a little run. Just battling away with him now. Wind's still hammering us in the face. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. We needed this. A little bit of a confidence boost. Yep, got it. Well, I can't actually believe it, but I'm lifting up a fish. Uh, we've had a walk around the lake, we've spoke to plenty of the other anglers and they're all telling us zig zig zigs but you can never discount a good old solid bag. This one was tucked to the trusty for us manila wafter, little dumbbell, done the business. Not going to bother weighing it, it's an upper, upper double, might, might scrape 20 pound, get a little bit of carb care on her and we'll slip her back. Absolutely buzzing. Really important that we look after our, uh, our captures so that the next angler can enjoy them just as much as we did. Well, the well earned fish, hopefully, there'll be a couple more. But I do believe it's 1 0 to the solid bags. Get in. As you know, I chose to use the solid bags. Um, I've got a few tied up here ready to go. 
It's just got a simple blow back rig inside the inside the bag with a hook bait, uh, two mil pellets, a mixture of colours, just to add a little bit more visual aspect on the lake bed. Um, I'll be using the Gemini Tidy stems. These are the 5.75 millimeter diameter ones. They fit perfectly over the three ounce leads. Going on to the the Tidy stems themselves, the inserts are made from a fused fluorocarbon. Many benefits to that. Firstly. The braking strain of these is guaranteed at £45. Also, because it's super flexible, when it's looped onto your main line, it's not going to damage your line in any way. More importantly than that, with it not being a rigid stem, it won't damage the fish. And the beauty of these is that you can tie loads of these up either before your session when you've got a spare couple of hours at home or when it's wind and terrible conditions like we have today. You can sit in your bivvy nice and warm, get loads of them tied up ready for a break in the weather when you can get them back out on the spot. That one that's just on the bit fish straight off. Another one pre-tied. Back on the loop. We're back fishing again. Celebrate your meal. Celebrate your meal. Save the blank. I say fishing's meant to be relaxing, but you don't relax until there's a fish caught. That you don't. That you don't. I don't think one of us are going to have another one at some point. Yeah. Do a little burger inspection. I need you to honour me my burger. Well, I've got to give it yeah. Yeah. Give it the good old uh, mighty test. Good enough to eat. Burger cheers. On a brioche bun. To be fair, mate, I don't want you to do the test. Oh yeah, Liam doesn't have a proper cup of tea. Tea would be dreadful. Lee, uh, Lee likes his with all milk in. And... No, Pete has his warm milk. I like mine a little drop. Look at where's your tea bag? Tiny little stuff in there. Oh. Why? I thought you'd already got rid of it. No, no, squeeze it all out in there. I mean, you, like you put milk in I know, the I, tea I, don't, bag. I don't know what I do when I'm fishing because I don't when I'm at home. That's, I don't know why you do it fishing, like you take it out. Yeah, that's what I do. I put you get the milk, milk. in there. So, why do you do I it don't fishing? Know. I don't know. It's just a habit Look. I've got. Just a touch. Nah, the, the, no, you're playing up to the cameras now. Just a touch. And you normally. You, you usually put loads in, I don't know you got. You're a liar. <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> Give me some more milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not loads of milk. No, you do. You have you have milky water, you No. Do. Yeah, so we're just going to finish this cup of tea and have a chill out. Um, and probably see you in the morning unless we get any further action. The whole time you was talking, all I could hear was ding, 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 ding. Don't you do an outro? I don't then. know what to say. Well, you gotta do something now. You just have my outro. Well, is this it for the night then? Are yeah, we, yeah. Are we, are we saying good night and that? Well, until the morning, unless we get a fish. That's what, right, we're then. not gonna say good night in the morning, are we? Well, go on then. You just say what, right, yeah. so what you got. Um, what am I saying then? Just you, you do you. I, I thought I had it sorted, but then you wanted to ruin it. Right, and so this is a sign. I'm done. Turn the mic off. <laughs>'cause it's just about half past four, five o'clock. Very early in the morning. Save me a little blank. So here we have the capture for this morning, just this moment ago. Half past four, five o'clock in the morning. Running rig at distance. And I believe that brings me back to 1-1 one, one with Liam. Go on then. I believe that's 1-1. One, one. So I'm made up now to be off the mark. I can finally relax. I don't care what you say. Until you catch that first fish, you cannot relax. I know I can. Just read on the rods and hopefully another fish will avail itself. It's getting on about half six now. I'm just gonna turn the lights off, turn the camera off. I'm gonna jump back in bed, have a nice slow morning. But until then, get me back in that sleeping bag. Good morning. 
So, a nice little wake up call. Same rod, same method, Ronnie Rig. Nice bright yellow uh, pop up. I'm not gonna weigh him again, but I'd say low 20s. Three fish so far, still another night to go. It's starting to come together now. I believe that's two ones for the single. Lads, I know I love fishing, but oh, they're even putting a line through it for me. Cheers, lads. So, good morning. As you can see, it's been a successful night. Pete's managed to take the lead. Don't know how he's pulled it out of the bag. Who won? But, uh, got a nice. How's that for a morning? Nice morning display for us. Right, and so we're entering the last full day of the session. The rods are back out a little bit later than we wanted to this morning, but it's not every day you get to the Red Arrows practice, so we stood and watched them for a good half hour, 45 minutes. Um, I've opted to just put the two rods back out this morning because the crosswind's killing me, the, the bow in the line. It's not going to be safe if I've got three rods out there crossing over each other. The last thing I want is to hook a fish and the lines to get tangled 50 or 60 yards out. And, you know, it, it, it's not it's not right, so. Yeah, again, I've been fishing with the two rods. Uh, the crosswind has come over us today, so yeah, the, as soon as you cast out, you try and get your rod tip down, it's, it's still not eliminating the bowl. So yeah, we both come with two rods, we're both fishing at distance again, Liam with the solids, me with the singles. It's 2-1, can Liam pull it back? So we're just gonna have a cup of tea now and have a little slow morning. Talk tactics and maybe uh, get some food on. Alright, so we're just doing a little clip for the in session video and we're nicely interrupted by this little take. Just gotta make sure you don't run with the rod. No, oh, it's hard to tell at the minute. It's hard to tell. Yes, feel good. Yeah. 31. 31 four. All right, so fat at the bottom. It's hard to hold. No, nope. easy boy. Right, so we're amongst them. 31.4. Ronnie at range again, same rod, same area. Be nice to me. Oh, buzzing for this one. I'm just, just short of a pound, maybe a pound and a half of a PB. Almost there. But it's always good to get one of these for the session. <laughs> I'm absolutely made up. Woo! The session has took a great turn. First day we didn't feel confident at all. And now it's all starting to kick off. Well, I'm just going to run you through my tactics, uh, what approach I'm taking. So in this session, I'm going to be using the Gemini Tidy Booms, the Turbo German and the Ronnie Spinner. It's available in 5.5 inch, 7 inch and 9 inch. Both of these booms have a 30 pound braking strain, 0.50 millimeter diameter and 100% fluorocarbon. They also have a light refractive index of 1.42, which is very similar to water, basically making them near invisible. Each tidy boom is manufactured using the unique fluorocarbon fuse bond technology. This is stronger than any conventional knot. So this is the boom for the Ronnie rig. First of all you need to select your hook, which hook you're going to use. Then we need to add a method of attaching bait, whether it be a micro ring swivel or a bait screw. This one we've opted for a bait screw. This is held on by a hook bead. Once those are in place, slide a small piece of heat shrink tube onto the hook. This will then be attached to the tidy boom by passing it through the eye of the hook. Once this is in place, slide the heat shrink back down. The shrink tube in there needs to be heated up so it makes a tight fit. Back down to the other side of the boom, we use an anti-tangle sleeve just to aid the fluorocarbon, giving that extra kick. Once you've completed this, back down to the business end, choose your bait that you wish to have, 
we've gone for the bait screw so we're just screwing a bait on nice bright yellow pop-up seems to be doing the work here at Trent View and then all you have to do then is counterbalance the pop-up with a bit of putty if needed to get that right balance so here you can see the mechanics of the rig working massive amount of resistance kicking back also if you're casting at distance you can have that bit of bit of confidence in your rig that it's setting out there and it's not tangling moving on to the other method on my other rod we're going with the tidy boom for the turbo german rig many of the same principles 30 pound braking strain refractive light index of 1.42 various sizes such as five and a half inches seven inches and nine inches i like this method the turbo german rig as it's a highly effective balanced bottom bait rig it offers consistent levels of presentation the ability to reset after an aborted take and it has solid hook holds so as the glide viewers might notice i'm in yet another swim Basically, Pete's had three fish from four o'clock, between four o'clock this morning and now. All of them have come on his right hand rod. Uh, he's had nothing on his left. I had that one yesterday, but since then nothing. And the swim to the right of Pete is free. So I've decided to up sticks again, move into here, and I'm going to spend the last afternoon and night in this swim. So still the old faithful solid bag. Got to try and pull this back. Pete's now threw one up and I can't let him get one over on me. Right then, so the move seems to have paid off again. I just hope I can get this one in. It feels, I don't want to jinx it, but it feels like it might be a slightly better fish. At the minute, just to get me back in the game, I'd take anything. Comment. Oh, what a session. Another one on the bank. Right then, so the move of swim again has paid off. I'm back on Pete's, uh, on Pete's coattails. The first common of the session. And the importance of moving swims when it feels right, and it, it certainly did. All Pete's bites come from his right hand rod. I felt like I was just out of the way of them to the left hand side of Pete so I decided to move over and it's, uh, it's paid, paid good again. A night left to go, the rest of the afternoon and a night left to go. Yeah. Tell you what, the quality of the fish in here, you, you can't knock it. Every single one has been absolutely pristine. As the solids cut the lead down to just one on the singles. Just a little update then to round off our last full day of this session. Uh, Pete's had the three fish since this morning. I've had the one, but Pete's definitely stole the show with that 31 pound, four ounce. Beautiful fish. Um, the the move, mover pegs again for me worked today. One last night to go, couple of hours in the morning. We've got to be off by half past nine off the peg. But yeah, it's been a, been a brilliant session. And to be honest with you, I think we're both still confident that we might get woken up in the night or at least get one in the morning. So I'll say good night for now and I'll see you either in the morning or through the night with another fish. It's a bit cold this morning. Scores on the doors. 27, 27.4. We'll take them ones. Yeah. Well done. What's that, 3-3? Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Oh, that's how you are. First light bite for me to round the scores up at 3-3. Three, three. And I've got amongst the better fish too. Not quite Pete's stamp of fish, but 27 pound, four ounce. My biggest of the session and I'll certainly take it. 
as I said that makes the scores 3-3 three, three now with about four hours of the session left all to play for that rod's already back out on the spot because with such such a short amount of time left of the session I figured I'd get the hook out in the in the water leave this one resting safely there and get that rod back out hoping to snatch the win fish number three for me now again the solid bag yellow northern wafter it really does seem that yellow is doing the business all three of Pete's have been yellow pop-ups and yeah it seems that yellow is the uh, the way to go at Trentview Fisheries I can go home now and happy man three three And that just goes to show once again the tidy stems, how important it is. I've got a couple of bags tied up just in case this scenario happens. I've managed to bring the last fish in, get it sorted, rod straight back out and within a minute of the fish going back, the rod peels off again. Come on. The smallest fish of the trip, but it doesn't matter when it's the, the one that's put me into the lead. And that, with just a few hours left, puts solid bags in the lead. So that brings the session to an end. As you all saw, it was a slow start, but then it turned into a productive one. Liam finally snatched the win at the end for solid bags, but it just shows you how effective both methods are. A quick shout out to Trevor View. Just want to say thank you for being so accommodating, friendly and welcoming. It's an amazing fish we're in, we had an amazing time. An update on the 31 pound four capture. It turns out it was a new 30 to the lake, so we actually got to name it. And due to the collaboration with Carp Interest and Gemini Carp Tackle, I thought it was quite fitting and I called it Gemini. So if you do catch this fish in the future, Gemini, please tag Carp Interest and Gemini Carp Tackle, just so we can see, I think it'll be quite interesting. But coming to an end guys, just going to pack the bivvy down now, I'm going to head off home. But if you have enjoyed the videos, make sure you're liking and subscribing to Gemini Carp Tackle and Carp Interest. We've got a collaboration going on through this year, we're going to produce a number of videos. So if you are liking them guys, please follow and subscribe and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.